Therefore, by the virtues and authority that's based in me, as a minister of the gospel of Christ in accordance to the law of God in the sovereign state of Tennessee, and now pronounce you, husband and wife, in one name, one aim, and one we trust in happy destiny. For God has joined together that no man put asunder. Ask Brother Bill Apollo, who would come and lead us in prayer. Amen. This that God has sanctioned from the beginning when he saw man. In the garden, he saw him lonely. Because the sleep had come upon him and took from him a reel. He made him a wife. I made him a companion. He made him one flesh. So as this matrimony today made you to become one. This says the church is to Jesus is the wife for the husband. And you should treat her as Jesus would treat the church. And you should treat Tom as the church to treat the Savior. We came to stay and we came together embarking upon the most important place in your life. Up till now you've been under the leadership and the guidance of mom and dad those around you. Now the decision will be upon you. I'd ask you most of all to give place in life first for God. Make that the most important state and always rely upon Him or He to be your help in every need. Proverbs 5 and 18 says, Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving high and the pleasant road. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the bosom of a stranger, to stay with the wife, the Lord, and place you there. Ecclesiastes 9 and 9 says, Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life, of thy vanity which he hath given thee under the sun. All the days of thy vanity, for that is thy fortune in this life, and in thy labor which thou takest unto the sun. Don't we'll say that it's all going to be great. I'll assure you, you'll have your problems. But remember that the Lord, He's the problem solver. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself our head. These scriptures today, always take them. And let them hide them in your heart, as David said. Temptation will come, Tom, but cleave to that that the Lord's given you. Young people today, they enter into this very loosely, not with much thought. But I hope that you all give much thought and enter into this with a great mind and not to ever break until death is time. That's, this is the most blessed part you'll have and those blessings that God will give you which will be your children and they are the gifts and the blessings of God. Don't forget to raise them in the fear and the admission of the Lord as you have been raised. Bring them to church. Stay in church. Make that your most important part. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank Thee, Lord, for this day. God, that You brought us forth to. Thank You, Lord, for the parents of these two that have brought them to this place, God, and now I've given them, Lord, to one another. Thanking you, God, that you have given us, Lord, a way, Father, that we could be together, Lord, in all happiness, as thou hast described it from the beginning. Thanking you, Lord, that you, Father, have gave these two together in their heart. And let them be one flesh, Lord. Let them not forget God the many times, Lord, that you have been their stay. Lord, let them find a hiding place in you always. When trouble comes, Lord, let them take it to you together in prayer. Well, Father, if they'll only trust you throughout their days, you'll add to them bountifully, Lord, and I know that you'll bless them. 
God, I thank you, Lord. Lord, for this opportunity, God, that you've given me that I might say just a few words, Lord, and offer a prayer on their behalf, God, that you would eternally bless them, God, together. Father, we know, Lord, that thou art able, God, and you're able to keep them. God, uh, when they would, Father, stray, remind them of the right way. God, when they would forget about church, remind them of the good things. Father, whenever children come by, Lord, remind them that they ought to bring them and raise them according to Lord, as has been laid down in the Scriptures, let us hide thy word, Lord, and let them, Father, hide thy word in their heart, and always walk and abide with you. And Lord, I praise you now. Go with us, Lord, and, and have your way in their life. And Lord, always, God, bring them together. These favors we ask in thy name for our sake. And amen. Um, Yeah. Now I'm presenting to you all is Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Lynn Walker. Before you leave today, if you haven't signed a register, would you please sign everybody that's present that they might have a record of who was here today. Okay, let's get them back on there and get some pictures.